frag mounties just uh, just came. Back then, we didn't know what frag mounties was, and we just had no knowledge of what was happening. Our land owners association uh, uh, became concerned about it and worked with the the the, uh, the land trust to kind of educate us as to what frag mounties was, and and then we even became more concerned, frankly. It doesn't provide habitat to native animals. So it just can turn what's otherwise a beautiful, diverse shoreline landscape into an ecological desert, as we call it, because there's just, there's nothing there except a wall of green. So with the help of DNR and many others, local landowners took on Pragmites. They know that this is an original ecosystem, something that you can't find everywhere and everybody wants to protect Door County because it really is a gem. We just provided them with a stepping stone to work towards uh, clearing their own lands, to get their lake view back, to get their property back, and to get back the habitat of the native flora and fauna. But federal funds were needed to set the wheels in motion. We had a wonderful uh, grant program and they came in and did two years of treatment. The first treatment will kill anything that the herbicide encounters. The problem is that Phragmites has a gigantic underground root system and there's lots and lots of energy stored in that root system. But because it's so robust and strong, there's always a little left over so that some, it can come up next spring. The next spring what comes up will be far less than what there was the first year. And in this case, which is the third year here, what's come up is far less than what was coming up the second year. The results have been dramatic. We have treated approximately 3,300 acres, about 52 miles of shoreline along the Green Bay West Shores, as well as the Lake Michigan shoreline. Green Bay West Shores was a majority of aerial treatments, so we saw a huge success, over a 95% kill in the Phragmites invasion. The recovery of the, the native plant is almost instantaneous. I mean, we're seeing growth of wild strawberries, and we're seeing growth of bulrushes and, and native cattails. All you need to do is provide them the opportunity to survive and thrive, which is that, that's what we did. While the landowners are excited about the results so far, they're realistic about what will be required to keep Phragmites at bay. The program was a home run though, because it, it was the winner. It allows this stretch of beach to be in a state where the landowners can take care of the Phragmites before it was impossible, literally. And so I, I think uh, we're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. And that understanding and enthusiasm are critical because monitoring and continued control will depend on local landowners. All you need is one person, one person to believe that it can be done, one person to believe that control work is necessary. And that can begin the chain reaction. Team up with your neighbors, team up with your neighborhood associations, or do it on your own and be that person in your neighborhood, that spark that ignites the fire to keep it going, that passion to keep it going. I'm just thrilled to live here, and I'm thrilled to, thrilled to live here in a Phragmites, almost free environment. I love it. <laughs> Visit the DNR website to learn more about what you can do to prevent and control Phragmites and other invasive species.